Right, let's just go straight to the point because we don't have all the time. Like I said, the making money on forest trading was a very difficult thing for me. It was a huge task. It was so hard for me because for me to start making money on forest, it requires a lot of things. And until I discover this thing I am sharing with you, it was not easy for me. So this video is mainly open for every one of you who has been watching my video. So I'm only sorry for those who will not watch this video. But if you watch this video, it's going to be an eye opener for you to make profit in this forest trading. Number one is some of you are only interested in the movement you see in the chart in this thing. Some of you don't know that information is power. You know, you may be trading with indicators, you may be trading, applying parameters and all those things, and you don't know that because the what runs in your head and what you do with your hands are not corresponding, you will not click a close with profit. That is one simple truth people don't know. So, but once you have the right knowledge in your brain and you fix what you have in your brain with your hand, you will get the right results. And your eyes is fixed based on what runs in your mind because forest trading is more of psychological than what we think. All right, now watch what I'm about to do in this very video and I want you to do the same thing. So we are going to be, um, these two these things, I'll be explaining to you how I get to that point. Now these two these things, I'll explain it and how you can be able to use it and make your own profit. All right, now this is what we'll be using. We'll be using two moving averages and we will be using one of the most powerful tools that a lot of people are too low to talk about it because they think that this momentum don't work on crash and the boom. I will show you that this thing works and it works perfectly because though that based on the two parameters these things are using it is a kind of confusing why because they have too many things together and if you are not careful to point them out and know how to use them it will only succeed in destroying what you built for years all right so let's move ahead all right now this is moving average 10 exponential i think i can talk about this a little somebody asked me what happened when you use simple now let's do this thing once now watch this line watch this line watch this place please watch this place please focus your eyes on that place watch that place and watch this one i'll be changing this one to simple get that now i'll be changing it to simple so that you will see what i'm talking about now this is already simple now moving average 26 let me change it to simple it is on exponential already look at it do you see what happened do you see what happened do you see why we are watch one this thing we are somewhere here but now it shifted to this place and this one get across to it here so when you are asked to enter thread when the thing cross so where will you enter will you enter at the cross of this or which one will you use to enter so that is why because this thing is a simple move market but at its sound is not how simple it is it has a delay move so let's add let's use the same simple but this time we are changing it to exponential let me show you. Do you see what happened? Do you see what happened? The same exponential. And let's add 26. Let's change the 26 moving average to exponential. Let me show you. Do you see what happened now? So it's not as, as if there, there is something big different on it. But for newbies and for those who want to be consistent in trading without a kind of bringing confusion in their head someone who is using exponential will place a trade and close why someone who is using simple is still waiting for them to see more clarity in the market that is one thing you should know so there is 
there are benefits of using simple and there are also benefits in using exponential depending on what you are using for me everyone in my class will use exponential then if it is a time when we are confused about the market we don't know what the market is going to do then you use simple so that you wait comfortably and get the right result so let's go back the first is 10 moving average which is this and the second one is 26 moving average so get into that get into your mind so which means it is 10 ema which is 10 moving average exponential 10 exponential moving average and 26 exponential moving average e stands for exponential m stands for moving and the a stands for um average all right so this is what we have now this indicator window one for them for some of you who don't know how to we'll add those things touch this place touch here then look for this thing here you will find it now this is 14 parameters then all these things here all these colors here you can change it to any of your choice because what i'm using is black background so as i'm using black background i need to choose something that can be that is identifiable then this one is momentum this is one of the key mysteries that we'll be using on this very video all right look at it here all right so what are the mystery of this and how do you make money using this very simple thing how do you do that is that possible the answer is yes for those of you who are maybe some of the newbies in the group for you not to confuse yourself based on this thing you know that by default boom move on selling position and spike back as a, 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 a reversal with a spike and all crash move on buying direction and use spike to pull back so that is one thing you should have in mind so for every new business this is what market does so for us to get to more clarity and for you to understand what you are saying because that i will not be talking and it will be sounding like the market is in a damn position like this so let's move to crash 1000 good all right now this is crash 1000 and i will be showing you how you can use this thing to be placing trade without losing at least you'll be taking five to ten candles successfully then i will show you how you can get to this place i will show you how you can get to this place how you can change seven hundred dollars to one thousand something possibly two thousand and thereabouts all right let me show you how you can do that now for you that have small account you know i respect you for who you are follow this very strategy add those things up but pay great attention because even if you add up those things without doing the right thing you will get the wrong result all right all right now let's go we have the average directional index we'll have average directional movement index which is this one and this thing comprises three style d and d which is plus and minus so when time you see this color remember that that is the style which is the general background color which is showing the signal move and we'll have plus and the minus which is this green and this uh, yellow or orange color whatever you may call it now let's go to the market so this thing you are seeing here is exactly what you are about to do when you focus on your main chart if you focus on the main chart we'll have this 10 to 26 moving average ema and now we have the momentum which is this is the momentum which is that blue one then we'll have this and the two lines which is this one 
as the average directional movement index. Now, how do you combine those things and stay close to it and understand how you can make profit from it? Please listen. First thing first, wait for a spike for Skyping, please. Wait for a spike. Wait for a spike. If the market will spike, this momentum will come down to this point. Wait for it. As it will cross over to this gold line. Watch. It may stay in this direction for a period of time. I mean in this place for a long period of time. When whatever they are doing there, check the market is counting in this place. And if this thing touches around this area, you should be closing your trade instantly. As long as it steps close to this place, this is this as is enter your trade for Skyping. Please comfortably take like five to ten candles. And it will surprise you that you would take the candle and close. How? Try it and see. If you don't have that mind, if you don't have that confidence, leave the place. Use demo first. Now, watch as... See, I'm not telling you what I don't do. Just from here. Once it enters into this place, place your trade. From there, take your first TP at this very point. If it's about to touch here, take your TP. But as a forest trader that knows what market is saying, you should not allow your market to cross to this very point, which is this resistance zone. You should know that. Because every resistance zone has the ability to frustrate the current market. So get that into your mind and don't joke with it. All right. So that is how simple this thing can be. How? Is that all? No, sir. That is not all. There are three things you will consider before seeing this. One, if you zoom out the market like this, you will notice that the real market is in this direction, which means that if I ask you to place trade and you zoom out and you see this, how then will you place your trade? Because the market is did not touch the the, move, the momentum did not touch this lower um, area, you know what I mean? Did not touch this lower area of trade or five. So how then should I place my trade? First thing you should consider is this: what is the position of the zoom area when you zoom out? What is the current market structure? You know we we'll have technical analysis and we we'll have fundamental analysis. So, once you see this thing, technically, the market is operating in the uptrend, which means it spent much time going up. Buyers spend much time going up, you see it, than the spike. So, which is a huge opportunity. Then I'm going to show you how to know that this market you are about to Skype now will give you what you want. Number one is this. Once you have seen that this thing is like this, then zoom out one. If you zoom out one, this is how your market should look like. Once you see that, take your eyes on those areas that we are below the average directional movement on the bottom side of it. Remember why I use this crash so that the reverse will be the case when it comes to boom. Because what you are seeing here, when it comes to boom, when you want to do your Skyping on the boom, this is where you should place your eyes. Please remember that back crash goes this direction, Y boom goes to this direction on Skyping. So don't make that silly mistake because it's uncalled for. Now, once you have this zoom, that is to say that before this market started going up to this as is, there were an agreement here, which is to say that after... All those things the market touched here that is number one thing you should consider and say okay since it touched here 
I have confidence that this market will be going up in this direction. Then the second thing you should ask yourself, how long did it take this thing for it to come up? Did it stay long, like what you have in this area? Did it stay long? It didn't stay long, then it started coming up to this area, which means that buyers are more than the sellers. So you and you are, your dreams and your expectations is for you to buy. So it's an opportunity for you. People say I talk too much, but I don't know how to just minimize everything. But I just want you to understand it so that you will stop losing your trade. You will stop losing your money. All right. So sorry about that. So once this thing happens like this, you now have an opportunity that is coming. And it steps up to this place good enough. Then it comes to this place. Remember that before this spike, it was first touched at this place. Let me zoom out so that you will see what I'm saying. Even before this little spike here, the market touched to this area. And the spike was this thing that pulled this thing down. Because the market is still in this position, then know it that you still have the momentum. Until the market spike down to this place, you still have the opportunity. No, don't do that, please. But what I'm, what I'm trying to show you is that as long as the market spike like this, it shows that this is the presence of sellers. But buyers said we are still in charge. So they have to take, take off the market once more and keep going. So as long as the market remain in this very position or this area, it simply means that the momentum of the market is so high. Then as it as the sellers showed up, the momentum need to drop. So as it drop, the momentum pick up and continue to go up. Like that is the word momentum. That is why it is shows the momentum of the market, the current movement of the market in the buy and the current movement of the market in the sell. So if you can pay a little attention, why many don't do video on this or talk about it is because they thought that it works only on crash and boom, um, sorry, on volatility, on buy bid, on um, other stuff like um, experts or Sean and all the rest of them. So, but they don't know that this thing can do a magic even on boom and crash. So take this advantage and it will surprise you that you'll be making a huge sum of money without any stress. This is the current market. This is what I'm doing. Now, how do I arrive at the spot? All those in my mentorship class should know how I was able to arrive at the spot because I have showed them the power of candlestick. I have showed them the power of candlestick. And I expect each and every one of them that followed me for some time to do this and get to the same result as I am. Let me show you where I placed this trade and how I was able to make the profit and why I still leave the market till now. One thing is this, I have this as a trial point. I have seen this, they have the bottom, so it has made head and this is the shoulder. I said, okay, so this is um, lower, low, so, I don't care. First, it made a head. Uh, it makes a lower and more lower here. So as the market pushed down to this place and form this very one here. So at that point, I said, okay, in the day like this here and here. So I needed to pay attention to this area. So as this market breakout um, day for yesterday, so I needed to wait for this. So it took all through yesterday for this to happen so and finally cross to this place without retracing back so now the market finally moved to this axis yesterday and why is moved down to this place i waited to see if this place i mean i waited to see if this if these people will allow this market to cross so the 26 moving average some people don't know why we added that 26 moving average the 26 moving average i added gave me an indication that if this market should cross this moving averages on a higher time frame it shows that in the next 26 days ahead of us the in the previous 26 days of period of time that the market will suffocate at this area and i say bye so i have to take that advantage of that when immediately it touched at this 10 moving average and hoping to get to 26 i said no 
how do i do that i watch the market using the candlestick pattern and i place the trade all through the drama that happened yesterday i never gave up then i waited on it and it's still pushing down i can only close this trade if i notice that this market is approaching to this place but with this if this thing should cross over that means a love spike is coming on our way and by so doing i will be closing this trade around 500 each i'll be closing at least with 500 each and by so doing this thing you are seeing here will be around 3000 or 2000 something so to say so that is how market works it's simple as that now what happened on boom one 500 and what gives him god gave me the conviction that boom 500 will give us something now let me show you boom 500 come up boom 500 so when this is boom 500 when i saw do you see the same thing so when i discovered this thing yesterday i saw a breakout here so i waited for this so this one gave me the conviction so i placed this thread at the breaking out of this thing so the market pulled back then all this thing happened yesterday so currently today why haven't i closed this trade? i will not close it because this market will possibly pull out like this i gave this strategy on the i gave out this signal on the telegram group yesterday and i don't know if there's anyone that make profit on it so i showed them the, the little stage of it so some will have closed and some don't do this so that is one thing we'll do you know the challenge is still on and why we stopped for a while is that we had a challenge but we are back on it so go to the place join the telegram group i'll be dropping signals at least once in a day or at least once in two days or thereabouts. so just enter into the place you will be seeing signals that will be helping you to trade. Remember, I didn't give you any promise that I'll be dropping signals on in that place every single minute because it's a free signal group. So what I do is if I see and I feel like I drop, then you do. Then those in the mentorship class don't need those signals. They are self-made because they have already paid for it. And some of you have seen the secret, something that you can never see on YouTube. That is what you see there, you know? They learn it will open up their eyes to see so many things but here will tell you what you should do because we believe that you already know it so if you are losing trade and you are making mistakes and you are things are falling apart you don't make money please i beg you stop wasting that money look for a mentor that will open your eyes and tell, and tell you some of the simple secret things that you may not see on youtube channels all right my name is gdfs and I'm looking forward to see someone that will smile home with a thousand dollars. That is one thing I am dreaming of. Four thousand, six thousand US dollars. So that you wake up one morning and solve problems without anyone insulting you on top of it. My name is GDFS. Please make this profit and I'll be glad to have you. And I'll be glad to know that someone like you is truly succeeding this is how simple it is this is how simple it is so it's not impossible it is possible all right try it and you smile gdfs signing